All right, everyone. The problem says an analysis of this compound gives the following percent composition by mass. For carbon, 44.4%, hydrogen, 6.21%, sulfur, 39.5%, and oxygen, 9.86%. Calculate empirical formula, and then what is the molecular formula given the molar mass is about 162 grams? So this is an empirical formula calculation problem. That's going to be the majority of it. And then at the end, one final step to calculate the actual formula, the molecular formula, based off the empirical formula, which is the lowest whole number ratio. So we have carbon, hydrogen, sulfur, and oxygen. And we have percentages for those elements for this compound. If we had 100 grams of this compound, those percentages would be our exact masses, because 44.4% of 100 grams is 44.4 grams. So that's how much carbon we would have, given 100 grams of this, for hydrogen, 6.21 grams, sulfur, 39.5 grams, and oxygen 9.86. So we're just assuming the percentages are also grams, are also mass. We want to turn these all into moles for these elements. So we're going to multiply by a conversion factor. We're going to convert them to moles. So let's put in all these conversion factors. For all of them, grams is on the bottom. So we want to get rid of it, and moles will be on top. All these conversion factors will be the molar masses of these elements. And we're going to talk about one mole. So what is the mass of one mole of each of these elements? We're going to look at our periodic table for carbon. It is 12.01. For hydrogen, 1.01. For sulfur, 32.07 and for oxygen 16.00 so we need to solve all of these in each instance grams will go away it's on top and the bottom and we'll be left with moles for carbon 44.4 times 1 divided by 12.01 will get 3.697 and units are moles. For hydrogen, 6.21 divided by 1.01 would be 6.149 moles. For sulfur, 39.5 divided by 32.07 1.232 moles and for oxygen 9.86 divided by 16 0 0.616 moles so we have our mole ratios these numbers don't look very pretty though so to make them better to make them easier to use we're going to divide each of these four numbers by whichever one is the smallest and that would be oxygen's mole ratio 0 0.616 so we're going to divide all of these by 0 0.616 okay so when we solve these Oxygen is going to be easy. It's exactly 1 because we're dividing it by itself. The rest should be close to a, a much better number. Generally, they're whole numbers. So 3.697 divided by 0 0.616 is right about 6. Okay, about 6.001, we're going to call that 6. For hydrogen, 6.149 divided by 0 0.616 is... 9.98, so right about 10. And then sulfur, 1.232 divided by 0 0.616 is exactly 2. 
So these numbers are a lot better. We have 6, 10, 2, and 1. So from this, we know our empirical formula is C6, H10, S2, and O1, which we're not going to write because we don't write ones in our formula. So that is our empirical formula. That is the lowest whole number ratio formula. Now, the molecular formula, which is what we want in the end, the actual formula, which could be this or it could be some multiple of these subscripts. That's what we're looking for. The molecular formula has a molar mass of about 162 grams. So we know the molar mass of the molecular formula. We want to figure out the molar mass of the empirical formula. So we need to figure out the molar mass of C6H10S2O. So there, we're going to multiply the subscript by the molar mass. Okay, so for carbon is 12.01. We're going to do that for each of these and add them together. So now we've got to do hydrogen. There's 10 hydrogens in the formula, and the molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01. .01. For sulfur, it's going to be 2 times 32.07. And if I can fit in the end here, oxygen is just 1, okay, just 1, I didn't write it, times 16. Okay, so let's solve all of that. 6 times 12.01 plus 10 times 1.01 plus 2 times 32.07 plus 1 times 16.00. That gives us a molar mass of 162.3 grams. So we calculated the molar mass here is 162.3 grams. That is pretty much almost what they said is 162 grams. So that means that the molecular formula is the empirical formula. Okay, They are the same. So final answer, what is the molecular formula for this compound? It is C6H10S2. Oh. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos. And thank you, thank you so much for watching.